And it's the juvenile race of week one here on the National Hunt. So we've got some triumph hurdle hopefuls here, surely. Arcadian, Jim Murray, Bold Highlander, Martin Leadham, Bonfire Schuil, Dan Hughes, more of the same, Joshua Sutherland, Red Point, D. Thompson, Squires Gate for Willie Mullins, the big yin, Alex Cherry, Wait and See for C. Beckwith, Almaza Hiver, T. Rogers, Classy for David Hooley, Crusading Baranka for Hems, Jailbreak for Leon Van Rensburg, Little Coat Grand, Derek Hinton, Mikhail Germain, James Shea, Moving Guerre, Ryan Costello, Newlands, Paul Rhodes, Paperweight Finder, Davy Ladd, Stirred Not Shaken for Ryan Tamasebi, and Zone Zero for Pontypool Racing. Oh, it would be nice for myself to get a winner with Stirred Not Shaken in the week we said goodbye to the great legend that is Sean Connery, renowned for playing the one and only James Bond. It's Bonfire Schweel that takes the early running. And I hear from the stable tours that came out from champion trainer Leon Van Rensburg that quite a lot is thought of this jailbreak. She's a really classy horse apparently and should go on or is expected to go on to some really good things and hit some great heights this season for the champion trainer. But in this early days, it's racing towards the back of the field. A big field that we've got today here at Newbury for the only juvenile race of the week. And the early lead now is no longer held by Bonfire Schweel, but rather by that lovely strapping black horse with the green and white silks. That's moving where just ahead of Bonfire Schweel. And then Squires Gate not far behind those in third and a small gap back there to Newlands. The other black horse that just jumps that flight quite nicely and sits in ahead of Zone Zero. More of the same, looking for another Newbury win for Joshua Sutherland. We've got Mikhail Germain, which is the grey horse with the all green silks over towards the rail. And that one's racing just ahead of Little Coat Grand. And that one's alongside Classy. You can see Jailbreak in those familiar dark blue silks. The yellow hat for Leon racing towards the centre of the track. I think the jockey just wants to keep that out of trouble in this big field, knowing the talent of the horse that sits underneath. So it's moving Guerre in the lead still. Slightly larger lead build in there to Bonfire Schweel as they come to that next flight of hurdles. Really good jump there at the front there by moving Guerre, allowed it to open up an even bigger gap towards the back of the field. It wasn't a particularly good from Almasa Hiver, and that one's having to be pushed along to try and rejoin the pack. There were a couple of other slow jumps. I don't think Jailbreak was particularly fluent, but it certainly wasn't a bad jump. There's Moving Guerre, swings left-handed, still in the lead. We're well into the final mile now. There's about seven furlongs left to travel here in this juvenile maiden. Here at Newbury, Moving Guerre in the lead. Second place now taken up by another black horse, Newland. Zone Zero moving along on the inside of that. Marcel Germain has come off the rail and has moved forward. Smooth pro progress into second place. On the wide outside, we've got Red Point. More of the same has just moved up on the inside of that one and cruised into second place, looking for a quick follow-up for Joshua Sutherland. Here at Newbury, Moving Guerre, we're into the final five furlongs. Moving Guerre still holds the lead. Mikhail Germain, more of the same. Red Point, Arcadian. Jailbreak is now closer than ever before on the outside, but is out-jumped there by Paperweight Finder that is now closer than ever. Anything could win this three and a half furlongs out. A loader in with chances. Stirred not shaken and crusading Branca for Ryan Tamasebi and Hems are moving forward on the outside as well. Jailbreak's going to have to get going soon to live up to that one's lofty reputation. We've got a new leader though. Two and a half furlongs out. Red Pont is now the leader. Crusading Branca the grey moves into second. Stirred not shaken a touch out pace there. Little Coke Grand and moving Guerra is still there in third and fourth place. But win to the final one and a half furlongs. Last flight of Fences there. It's Red Point still has the lead. Jailbreak's now finally getting going. So it's Red Point, Crusade in Baranka. Stirred not shaken, trying to get going. But it's Red Point and Crusade in Baranka that are fighting it out in the final half of Furlong. Jailbreak can't pick them up. And as they hit the line, Red Point wins it. Red Point wins it. And that, that M there, it's either a typo or that horse is trying to catch the commentators out. Either way, wins the juvenile maiden here. And that one all roots to the triumph hurdle for that one, I'm sure, if it stays the extra furlong. Comes in here at 25 to 1. Crusade in Barango, really solid runner for Craig Allen there. Jailbreak, only third on debut, but I'm sure we've not seen the last of her. A really good run there. Fourth for Marcel Germain, for James Shea, another good runner. Stayed on really well and stirred not shaken. I would say for myself that the, the ground was a bit too quick for that one. It prefers it much softer. So a really pleasing run there in fifth. But well done for D. Thompson. Really good performance from Red Point. Wins the Laurel Racing Juvenile Maiden at Newbury.